We don't have good, to. Good, good. We don't have to theory craft on the merits of. Uh, I mean, again, well, we it has been done before, so yeah, it's, it's, it, it out. it's not it's not completely crazy, but um, instead, let's talk about the Queen of Pain versus Tiny matchup because from what we saw yesterday, the Invis. I had no idea that corner. was a, a spot for that. Yeah, I, I had no idea either. I bet in some trouble here, getting slowed up by the orb. He's already got the tree grab. I don't know if that's necessarily going to help him. Is there going to be another stun soon? I don't know if they're even really going to need it. Paladai trying for the desperate body block. Abba turning around. They're going to get some damage down. Lumic is going to get burned out, it looks like. So it's a one for one, but Execration going to take that trade any day of the week. Steal the wave in the offlane. I mean, uh, the, the, the Darkseer. I haven't even pe seen people do it as Darkseer, but... Uh, this is a kind of the standard start. Lots of damage getting traded at, but Nando's actually the one taking all, the majority of the oh, hurt. The DJ trying to find so him. Strong. He's got the south! The dual breath is doing so much work. Ohio's gonna be brought down. Nando has a stun in three seconds time. He just has to survive until then. DJ's not gonna give him the opportunity. Lays into him with the... Well, it's not the briefcase this time around. He's actually, actually just, he's running in perhaps a little bit too far. Nando's already respawned, and if he gets in range with the magic missile, I think that might be the end of DJ here. Yeah, there's the magic missile, dual breath, still with a couple of seconds, but there you go. Uh, we got some... Something's happening at mid, but we don't have any opportunity to look over there, since it's just mana and damage being traded everywhere at bottom. Ohio still has the surge, so feeling somewhat confident, but the magic missile is available. And Nando might just throw it out now. That's going to waste him with the surge duration. The ice pad gets dodged. He steps around. The sleep comes through. Will the right clicks do it? Nando's tanking all of the... All of the ion shells. Raging Potato manages to go in biz. Just barely surviving. DJ punching through. This bottom lane has been... Uh, just that, but might be quite dead here on mid. The Janata is up. Carl needs to be a little bit careful, and the Shadow Strike is actually on cooldown for two more seconds. One second, Pilot Eye coming in with the sleep. I'll be getting slowed up. As soon as he wakes up, Carl might be able to go and finish this off. He's gonna throw out the dagger. Nine. That might just be enough damage. Pilot Eye is probably gonna deny him if he needs it. Can Raging Potato finish it? Ooh, he wants it. He's gonna oh. get it. Raging Potato with the oh blaze. I think he's God. gonna trade his life, but worth. still, 100%. that was so worth. Yeah. I thought out, but the safe lane needs the courier so much these days. Ohio might be finished off by Nando. The creeps get involved as well. That last auto attack's gonna do it. Nando now gonna try for the TP out. Knows that he can't escape DJ, and he is going to make it. Some very clutch TP plays from Execration across the board. There are so many kills that uh, Fnatic would have gotten had the, there have been no pesky teleport scrolls. Oh, Raging Potato coming in behind here. What's gonna end up happening? Carl thinking some more harassment. A lot of harassment, in fact. Arcane ran up on this Bane. Oh, that's a kill. Yeah, this should be a kill. They've got the Avatar, so they're going to give it to Abed. He no, won't be able to grab it. Actually, Pi finishing it off with the auto attack. Oh. Carl is unimpressed with himself. Meanwhile, up top, Envy chasing after the Tide, but he's got boots. Now the Ice Path coming through. They've also got the Gush. They're doing decent damage. They need to be careful about the turnaround. Looks like Ursa should just be able to run this off. Tick damage not going to be quite enough. Liquid fire, no. He's got the tango running. If he tried to turn around to kill the tide, he would have... Uh... It's just simply too much. Yeah, like maybe you have to go bottle, maybe you have to buy some more salves. Bane going to tank some damage here. Pilot Eye wants to try and tango his way through, but there is way too much damage. He's already slowed down by the gush. That's going to be the last hit from Yaj. Envy going to start laying in to Lumic instead. Wants to kill the Jakiro. There is going to be an Ice Path and a Dual Breath slowing up Envy a little bit. Lumic still playing around his Tide Hunter. Knows that there's a Gush coming up soon, but they will still finish him off. Uh, the Thunderclap a little bit too low of a cooldown. And looks like maybe Tide also in a bit of trouble. Earth Shock. There you go. Oh god. Along with the Stomp. Envy going to get in front of him. Waits for the Overpower. This is really nicely played by Fnatic. And one more auto attack is going to do it. Ooh, that was nice by uh, by Pilot Die. Oh, by DJ. Sorry, not yeah. Pilot Die. Also, very smart decision by the Fnatic duel to instead of go. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get swapped back into the lane. Immediately switches directions. Was somewhat anticipating it looks like. And he's gonna be okay. Nice reactions. You know, he's asleep on Carl. He's just gonna get brain sapped down. I don't even know if Abed did any damage there. It looks like Pilot Eye just finishing him off on the way over to the Mystic team. Snake is such a hard thing to lane against as a melee hero. And then during the mid game, you have Stone Gaze. Alright, they want to hire. They're going to swap him into the Ice Path, stacking their stuns a little bit. Nightmare helping to save, but he's going to be brought down. DJ 
Uh, thinking about continuing the pursuit here, Nando taking some damage, but he is still fairly tanky on this Ven. Gets out another stun, the dual burst coming through, the brain sap is going to finish that kill, and Raging Potato also brought down. They make it into a two for two, and now Pylai die. He's got the Fiend's Grip. Can he get a grip into a brain sap? I think he might actually be able to. The brain sap's cooling down. He's stealing the mana little by little. Oh, Lumi's the wand charges, though. however, and he'll be okay. All right. Pi not, not checking the wand just before he, he went for that. So what? Two for two at bottom. Coronus be pretty, pretty embarrassing. They could swap him as well. Raging Potato, I'm going to slow him down. All right, maybe swap into Ravage coming up. Oh, they swapped the Bounty Hunter into the stun! Now they've got the Ravage, he pops the Enrage, but no way to escape. Oh, Turns around a little bit, Highlight Eye coming through, but no, Mando's still looking pretty survivable. I do get the Sleep Bite onto a couple, Abed now coming through, does have a big Avatos combo. Tied dead before he even hits the ground. And uh, it will end up being yet another one for one. Ten! We were at ten ten! Ten for ten! Lots of action all across the map. And they still want this Vengeful Spirit DJ making the plays with the stomp. He's still quite tanky, but Raging Potato, all he can really do is watch on as his Vengeful Spirit will get finished off. Oh, and Ohio tanks the Sonic Wave. Looks like he might tick out to the Shadow Strike. No, he's got his Dominator. He's got the regen. Uh, yeah, yeah, regen for days. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. So that you're kind of getting a kill every single time Sonic Wave is off the down, so... Back to buying clarities and farming camps for him. Oh, DJ. You're gonna be the first track of the game, it looks like. He's actually pretty fast, though. Can you go for the stomp? No, no such luck. This gets Anchor Smashed down. Envy going for the Mask of Madness on the Ursa. Teach creeps. Why not? Oh, that truck. Surge at him. Run at him. And it looks fairly tanky. There's the macro fire getting thrown. That's not really going to do anything. They do have the chain stun. Surge still on cooldown. He's going to throw the vacuum out. Ohio just wants his kill before he ends up being track fodder. Carl also coming in. He's not going to be the one to get the last hit. Still a nice track kill, but the vacuum. And they want Envy again. So the Rage taking lots of damage off of that uh, shuriken bounce, however. And they're not, not willing to invest their average without some extra lock down there. DD on the co-op. Lumic looking to get active, start taking some tier 1 towers down. This really is a big part of the Execration lineup, so... Important that they're getting this. Do you like the Queen of Pain build? Is, does she going for Ursa to, to deal with? Kind of. Because okay. you can't enrage at that point, and he's actually relatively squishy without being able to... ...enrage and keep himself alive. Rage and are gonna get dusted up here, but... ...they aren't able to get any catch on him. Down bottom, Nando just getting charged. Because you can't enrage at that point, and he's actually relatively squishy without being able to enrage and keep himself alive. Rage and Potato gonna get dusted up here, but they aren't able to get any catch on him. Down bottom, Nando just getting charged down by DJ and Ohio. Looks like they surged in a, uh, or maybe not even surged, but just ran in the not-so-great laning stage. Nando not so lucky, just gonna get gripped up and brought down. Tide trying to arrive, but gets... Knocked straight into the stomp. Won't really be able to do too much. Pi in some trouble. Also gonna get daggered. Yeah, he's looking very dead. Top will do some damage up top. At the same time, Lumic looking like he's gonna be brought to by Abed and DJ. And yeah, both supports end up dying across the map. Ohio also pressuring bottom now. Creep skipping and uh, allowing his own creeps to. Look at this HP regen with the unholy aura as well. He had like 22. You kind of have to, you'd have to win a fight like 3-0 for the Ravage to be worth oh. it. Oh, yeah, Raging Potato is it. Yeah, looking pretty dead. A couple of ultimates expended to find this kill. DJ gonna secure it with the stomp. Wants that little bit of extra money towards his Atos. But, oh, Envy gonna queue up the overpower. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna try and go for this. Meanwhile, over on the bottom side of the map, that's the Orchid being unveiled. They will be able to cancel the TP as well from Ohio, but he gets a good two-man stomp. Carl, sick of this, is gonna throw out the Sonic Wave. But it was all space creation, as Pi and Envy very quickly. What would you say their timing is? I mean, I... This, this lineup is uh, so weird. I guess, I, I, to me, it's not really about timing. It's more about the way of play. Talk about that later, DJ trying to escape, and looks like he is going to get brought down. This is what they need to be constantly doing, right? You pick Quap, you pick Venge as your two carries, or two cores, and what you're supposed to be doing is running into the jungle constantly, with Raging Potato, and, and finding a bunch of kills. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh. Your tango dropped on the ground. Courier almost gets sniped. Yeah. What's going on over here? Nando gonna spot out Pile I Die. Bane's still fairly tanky. Can't get the nightmare off. No, there's the sleep. They do have Tidehunter coming across. But it's actually the Bounty who looks like he might now be able to finish off high. That's gonna be a nice track kill. Uses a Vessel Charge. Envy also going to get scouted in a second as they do find Abed just around the corner. But he's standing right on top of his shrine, gets the Avalanche off. And actually able to just blink himself out. Surprised that the Vessel Tick did not uh, cancel there. Envy tracks. They're stealing some Ancients, but that's pretty much the limit of what they're accomplishing here. And Envy comfortable jumping in. He does have the Aegis in reserve, so he's just going to go onto the Tide. Vacuum back into the wall, slowing down a little bit more. Nando. Still has the swap, still has the four staff. Ty gonna try for the ravage, but he just gets chewed up by the enraged right wing. And now they've got the Earth Putter flying through. Looks like they will end up losing Envy's first life. Abed's on the sidelines, trying to find Raging Potato. Won't be able to do it. Lumic does not have an ice path, so it just has to be the dual breath. It won't be able to cancel Envy's blink. He does get swapped back into the Orchid, but he rejoins his team, getting nightmared up. Lumic's now in big trouble. He's gonna get stomped down. It looks like Carl does manage to blink away. Nando might not be quite so lucky, getting spotted by the wards. Pi placing it around the corner. Goes straight into the Fiend's grip, finishes him off, and Fnatic just running them down. I, I don't know, Execration sticking around a little bit too long in this fight. I guess feeling confident because they had the Ravage up Whoa. there. It, it felt like they were really, uh, oh, root over onto the co-op. Looks like it might actually be the Elder Titan who's in some trouble. Nope, running back towards the team. Sleep on the Raising Potato. Stomp's gonna finish him. Now the Ravage coming through. Does manage to catch up the Dark Seer. He does have Surge. Still available. Ohio quite tanky. Healing up a lot, trying to kite back over towards the Earth side. Green Pain's ready to use the blink, and he should be able to finish her off. Silence is there, he's still tanking a bit with the Enrage. He's standing in between the Ice Path, in between the Macro Fire. He's still healing up, courtesy of his Mask of Madness. Can he finish this kill? The Spirit Vessel is going to be his undoing. But at the same time, they do end up losing Raging Potato. Yaj, no TP, just rejoins the team. Abed blinking across. Is he going to look towards Lumic? They do have Nando rejoining the fight soon, but uh... He's not really choosing to engage. The interesting thing to me about the Ursa ultimate doubles your fairy swipe, so... All of a sudden, it went from not too much to a ton. And uh, Avatar's combo straight into a Fiend's Grip. Not bad finding yet another kill. Unstoppable streak for him. Important as Tiny that you're able to kind of keep this pressure on. Keep Execration afraid and they, they've done such a good job of dragging execration non-stop to this bottom side of the map we're going to get the root over under the queen of pain straight into the sleep straight into the earth splitter and be picking that kill up making pretty rapid progress towards his bkb and at this point it feels like execration are just getting torn apart all right they're moving forward. They're standing on top of the shrine. They're gonna force death in and get the Ravage out onto three. Actually catching four just on the edge. Ice path follow up. Oh. Just the vacuum into the wall. Into the sent out stuff. Ohio's got the combo. The Sonic Wave coming through. Ohio's gone. They aren't able to get onto the shrine. And he's bursted down. Pilot Eye finally throwing out the grip, but he's just getting right click death. Looks like it will be yet another track kill. Lumic did lose his life in the midst of this fight, but it's looking great for Execration. Abed gets the toss up into the air. Blinks underneath the co-op. DJ, does he have a similar escape? Juking his way through the trees, but does get stunned up by the vent spirit the magic missile should be enough triple kill for Carl Nando tanky enough to survive those tower shots and such a nice initiation from execration nothing flashy just a force you're gonna throw out a bash there Urshan definitely playing for execration they are gonna be able to jump in they burst down the bounty hunter oh actually not just yet the vacuum oh, there is getting forced out. out he's not dead just okay finally finished off they sleep up the tide macro pyre splitting up the fight a little bit Another sleep on the Tide Hunter, toss back onto Nando into the grip, but that immediately gets cancelled. Good positioning from Carl, but maybe this is a little bit too far. One more auto attack from Envy's gonna do it, he pops everything, but they do manage to finish off the co-op. Tide taking damage, still 25 seconds to go on the Ravage, and Abed still moving around, finding these Avatar combos, Raging Potato jumping in really deep. Another nice force death play, gets him up onto the high ground, but now they've got the root over under the Jakiro. Is the force death gonna be enough to save Lubick? Abed once again surged up, Envy chasing forward. I don't think the track move speed is gonna be enough to get Nando out of here. Here. He's desperate for a swap. He heads a little bit further over, but that's just right into the rest of the Fnatic lineup. Abed and uh, I think Abed making some really big plays that fight. He forced the fight by getting the toss back on the Venge. That forced the Queen of Pain to jump in a little bit too deep to get off the Orchid, and from there everything just completely fell apart.
Yeah, surprising to see that in a, in a game that there's four four staffs, MB is still having a decent impact in these fights. Able to actually pick off a hero or two. And now the second Roche is done, Aegis. So, it's just kind of using Envy to enable his positioning. They're going onto Yash here, he's gonna get slept up. He managed to get off the Ravage, but it's just a defensive one. Abed now jumping in once again with the Avatos combo. Envy surviving, and they've got the wave pushing in. Bottom Execration completely asleep at the wheel. No Ravage available, and I, th I think this is, might just be a clean lane of Rax. They're gonna throw out the Macro Pirate, it clears the wave for a little bit. But what can they do at this point? Another Avatos combo off a thrown back Raging Potato. Will be able to force death himself out of there. Tiny in a little bit of danger. Doesn't have the cheese. Carl able to blink himself away, but he gets swapped back in by his teammate. Oh no, Nando. Just killing off the Quap. She's dead for 70 seconds. The tier 3 taking damage. They do have the backdoor protection enabled once again, but Abed is going crazy with the toss backs. Now they've got the root onto Lumic. Only two force deaths to get him out of there. That's going to be enough, but. It's all left to the two supports to try and salvage this game, and they just cannot do it. What is, what is going on? Everybody's spamming chat wheel. Envy's diving fountain. And he, oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, is, is that just game? I think so. Living? I mean, they can't push for more because there's still tier 1 and tier 2 still alive on the <laughs> oh, other man. side of the map, but still, Rax. They could yep. just wait for the next one. Yeah, or they could just kill the Tide here potentially. Quap respawning soon, still a little bit to the Ravage, they're just moving Tide around. They're vacuuming him back, Envy still wants this kill, maybe diving a little bit too far, does have his BKB, turns back around, looks towards Nando. No Hurricane Pike available, will be able to swap himself back onto Lumic. NV, BKB just about to wear out, he does get silenced stuff, doesn't have the enrage, Sonic Wave's gonna finish him off. Pilai Dai unable to make anything happen with the Nightmare save. Just turns back around, offers himself up, but they're not done, they continue pursuit. DJ is still tracked up, gonna lay down the Earth Splitter just in case of a further chase. It does actually drag Carl back in and Abed happy to slap him down. Punishing the Queen of Pain for being a little bit too far forward. Raging Potato for staffing himself up. They still want this DJ kill. Abed, once again, thinks about re-engaging, but maybe deciding better of it. He still has his BKB. It's a full 10 second one ready to go. It's just tied in the Bounty Hunter. They will now get a little bit of re-engage out of the Ventral Spirit coming in, packing a double damage. Ohio, fairly tanky, they're gonna focus on the softest targets first, going for DJ. He's still surviving the vacuum into the wall, they're getting some bonus damage. Abed just laying through with the right clicks, doesn't have to play hit and run tactics this time around. Uh, but they don't actually get any further kills, Raging Potato still chasing Ohio, who's trying to fight on top of his wall. It's 4v1, the Illusion's helping him out somewhat, but he's dead. More track kills for Execration. Alright, they've just been marching up this mid lane and are they, uh, where are they about to head? Are they going to try and go high ground? I guess they don't want to get tossed into tier 4s, so... Just going to take this as a chance to just the Bane spells, right? That you're blocking. Oh, clop. Oh, oh. Smoke is broken. Avatar's coming in. The Ravage counter initiation. They've got the Ice Path as well. BKB's going to get popped in a second. Looks like Nando should get chewed down. No, they've got the fourth step. He will get gripped up. Can they finally finish this kill? They will be able to. Highlight I just getting right clicked down by Carl. That's going already being used. They will lose the Bounty Hunter as well. No. Able to E-Blade himself up. Lumix still going hard with these Ice Paths. Abba jumping in once again with an Avatar's combo, but Carl's tanky enough to survive this time around. They did pop a buyback on Nando able to re-engage into this fight. Tiny now Silence wants to finish this kill on Carl. Knows he's probably not getting out of here alive. Carl picking up the double kill. Ooh, that little bit of extra survivability on the Quap with the, the Shivas and even just the Ultimate Orb. Coming in really big that fight. Team fighting in this situation. Well, it depends on if you're able to pop your BKBs. If you get double Ravage and it's a chain stun, it's looking really bad. Howling was pressuring as well. Yeah. They lose the tier 3. They don't get a tier 3 of their own, so... Nicely done by Fnatic to find that opportunity to get top and mid pushed out all the way and just find more time. Yeah, the Aegis is actually a sword, actually. They see him. Never mind, alright. I said that, and they already had it set up. I'm just gonna try it for the BKB TP out. Get swapped, however, and that might just be the opening that Execration were looking for. Very smart play. Perfect ward. Wave was in just the right position. Image on the Bounty Hunter. They do have a glyph, but Carl is straight up onto the high ground. 
wants the tier 3 at the very least. They might back off if the buyback happens just to go and take the shrines, but they want this buyback. Envy, it is an exposed end of Rax over the top. They're gonna swap in the Dark Tree straight into the Hex. The Ravage is now coming out. No counter initiation possible. Second Ravage not even gonna be needed as they find three kills. Buyback from the Elder Titan. They're just going straight for the tier fours. Oh my god. Envy. What is he able to do? Is he even coming back just yet? He's not. He's actually just focusing on the racks. Who can they defend with? They do have the sleep. Envy now making his return, but it's only three heroes alive versus five. And they've got the secondary Ravage. They're just going straight for the Ancient. They hex up on this. Envy. Oh, the now there's the Ravage coming out. Epic can't do anything. He pops his BKB, but Execration going straight for the jugular. Envy is going to be able to focus on the bench, but she's still got a cheese. She's still got her butterfly working for her. They get the fear on the DJ. He gets right click down. Carl is going straight through the Ancient. And the GG gets called at the last moment, but execration, excellent decision making at the end there. They set up the war. They knew they needed the pickoff. They set up.